my definition is anything under 18. If is you are it, under that's 18, exactly you're a child. what a child you, is. Yeah, I think that is a great line in the sand. If you are under 18, you are a child. Your scenario earlier was if a 16 and a 21 year old, if it, both parties were consent, if the father was okay with it, the mother was okay with it, why not? Tell me a reason why that's wrong. Because you're one getting- One is a child, one is not a child. That's the point. Do you believe that somebody can go through uh, hormone therapy, can they change their gender if they're a child? I think that's totally fine as long as everyone is consenting. <laughs> as you agree with. Okay, so as long as everyone- if your parents are okay with it and you are okay with it, I am. I think that's totally a fam familiar decision to make, yeah. Now, Sneeko has been going viral for the past couple of weeks because of a viral clip that he posted saying the age of consent for marriage where he said that physical maturity doesn't matter how old you are you can get married and you can do shakalaka bumbo age of consent should be maturity it's not even 18 in most states why do you even believe that it's because in hollywood it's 18 so that gets pushed everywhere most places 16 and if you question that then they call you a pedo i believe the age of consent is the age of maturity it should be called the age of marriage age of consent implies that you're gonna have out of wedlock i think it's better that people get married at 16 17 than to have a bunch of premarital until they're 30 and they're washed up and then they get jaded and they're on birth control and they have dried up eggs. I think that's better for society. Basically what Mr. Sneeko is saying, doesn't matter how old you are, 15, 14, 13. The second you get physically mature, meaning your pee turns sticky, that is it. You are allowed to get married to whoever you want. That, is, that should be the age. The age of consent, 18, is filled. The government is push, pushing this into our brains, where in the first place, there was no age of consent. It is just a made-up thing by the government, and you need to believe in your own beliefs, basically. Anyways... Charlie decided to get on a phone call with Sneeko to see his point of view and have a debate about this whole situation. And Sneeko came in to cook Charlie, even though they were both uh, playing it very nice. Oh, I don't hate you. I actually like you as a person and your content. It was such a hard watch them playing nice at each other at the beginning at the, and the end of the video. It was like two women who absolutely hate each other. Oh my God, nice shoes. But inside they're like, bitch, fuck you, your ugly shoes and your big foot, big ass feet. Sneeko came in to cook like Gordon Ramsay but he only ended up with some beans and some toast bread and Charlie everyone thought he's gonna pull out a hypothetical M16 and he's going to absolutely smoke the Sneeko we thought he's gonna have a great landing but during the whole conversation and debate he crashed hard this whole thing was very hard to watch make sure there's so many debates I wrote all of them down age of consent Muslim Western sex, uh, siblings, marriage, 16 or 18, age of consent, drinking age, why cut your off at 16 and no sex. Yeah, there's a lot of shit going on, so buckle in. There's go this is going to be a very long video. The definition of an adult is 18 years old. Yeah, I think that's a pretty fine establishment right there. Anything under 18 would classify as a kid. I think that's important. Okay, but you're getting that from what? From personal experience, from the government, from the law? Because that's legally in America, that's when you become an adult, correct? Yeah, I, legally. So is. you're following the government's definition of an adult. I think there needs to be a definition and that one's been around for a long time and I think that's the one most people accept as the closest to like, yeah, this is when you become an adult. It actually hasn't, right? 200 years ago in the 1800s in America, the age of marriage. Yeah, we can't live like that. We, we, we're we so much more advanced than that. Why would we play by those rules? Because at that point, are you going to start arguing that we should be able to start wedding 12 year olds? Like is 12 too young? That's not the point. I'm saying you're saying that the US defined adult as 18. Well, I'm saying 200 years ago, the age of marriage in America was 10 and the UK was seven, right? So if the government decides to change it, you're saying it's 18. If the government, maybe if Kamala Harris gets elected, then the new legal age of an adult is 25. And there could be reasons to say that. They graduated college. They don't leave the house until this age. Their brains don't develop until they're 25. Your frontal cortex is not fully developed until you're 25 years old. A lot of people aren't making serious money. They're not able to live independently. A lot of things that you could use to classify an adult don't happen for the new age American until 25 years old. So if Kamala Harris raised it to 25, would you then say that that's the new age? Would you agree with that? I think that'd be totally understandable. Like, right, I think so that's that, fine. So then, does if that you, make if you? So then, does that make anybody who sleeps with an under twenty-five year old? Does that now make them a pedo? No, I don't think necessarily that makes them a retroactive pedo. So, what, so then, what's a pedo? It's an accepted. It's an accepted definition of eighteen for a long time. Is not for that long. Upon. Not for that long, and not through most states, and not through most countries across the world. Do you, do you see why this is like a weird? take to have though like what you, like i i don't think you're coming at this from a place of you wanting to f 15 year old are you like it, to go back to that question is 12 too young do you think 12 is too young 
I think 12 is too young for me. Yes. Well, for you, do you think 12 is too young in general? I, I feel like that should be an easy answer. 12 is too young in general, correct. Okay. Because, yes. And I don't but think you're I wanted, I wanted to find, angle. but you, what you're saying, your definition of adult is not even the, the actual definition. Do you know what the definition of child is? Like anybody watching this can Google it. You can Google it too. The definition of child is somebody who has not reached puberty yet. That's the definition. Yeah, and then you get into like the abibophile or whatever as opposed to pedophile. And like, those are all- like I, I don't know. I have no of... idea what those terms are. I, I, I don't know what that is, but I'm saying that's the actual definition. When somebody reaches maturity, it's based off of biological and physical maturity. Okay, yeah. Right. Yeah. So, right so, so it varies for everybody. Adulthood is not something that you can set in stone because it's different for the entire world. Right? I moved out when I was 14. A lot of people don't move out until they're 25. A lot of, I went through puberty when I was 17. A lot of people went through puberty when they were 13, 14, 15. It changes for everybody. So for you to, to say that this is the set in stone age and say you're a pet if it's under 18 and then if you're over 18, you're fine. Well, then that's a, that's a weird line that doesn't make sense. So you're going to say this person is a terrible person. If they're 17 years old, seven, 364 days, and right after that, they're good to go. Well, it changes for everybody. So we have to have something, a, a definition. We have to be realistic with it's everybody. Eight. But well, we is. don't, but you're saying we, but that's not even the case in the country well, we live in. So Sneeko over here says the definition of a child is someone who hasn't hit puberty. Well, guess what, Sneeko? Yes, your pee will turn sticky, but you're still a child. You get 18 years old, you now have access to a lot of things that you couldn't do when you were under 18, for example, like driving. But it doesn't matter if your pee turns sticky, you start shooting out correctors. In your head, you are still a child. 18 years old, yes, I repeat. It is an adult to do certain things. You have permission, you are mature enough to do certain things. But that is the beginning of your life. That is inside your head, you're still a child. Now, between the age of 17, 18, there's going to be changes in your life legally. There needs to be a line. Sneeko keeps saying about everyone, oh, what if she's 17 years old, 364 days and blah, blah, blah hours. Without a law, without a line on the age, we will be living like barbarians. We're not living fucking thousand, it's not a thousand years ago. There is a reason that there are laws. Now, does that mean that a 16, 17 year old isn't allowed to have intercourse? Have you seen kids nowadays? Everyone's horny as shit. When it comes to intercourse, yes, 16 and a 16 year old, I don't encourage it, but it is going to happen. This whole debate is over two hours. I'm not going to go through every single point, but I'm just going to go through the most important parts. Now, in this, there's a part in this whole conversation where it turned into, as they referred it as the Romeo and Juliet age, where if you're, for example, 19, you can get with someone 17 and 16. It's fine. I agree with that. Why can an adult 18, 19 year old be with a 16, 17 year old? Because you're still in that high school bubble. It is fine because at the same time, you won't have anyone, for example, a 25 year old woman would barely look at you. So you don't have much choice. You're still in that high school phase. But if the second you go 2021, 20, it is unacceptable. Anyone under 18. I've said this and I'm always going to say this. An 18 year old, for example, goes with a 17 year old. It's not that big of a deal. Yes, the law is broken, but if, for example, a 25-year-old or a 30-year-old goes with a 16, 17-year-old, that is when shit turns disgusting and illegal, and it is not because, you know, the government made us believe in this, and the guy going with a girl who's almost 18, why not go while, you know, she's still 17? Why wait for a few months? Because that is the law. That is the line that we need to draw. And even if a 30-year-old goes with an 18-year-old, it's still disgusting, my friend, but it is legal. You, you, you keep thinking that I'm saying this because I want the age to be lowered. That's not what I'm talking about at all. That's I, what it comes across as, though. When you maybe say maybe with the you internet are, brain, because because people are because people in the West they want to have sex all the time and they have a, a different sort of mindset, right? Here in the Middle East, I'm in the Middle East right now. They want to get married and then have sex. Now I like to debunk whatever Sneeko said. I am a Muslim. I've been born a Muslim, and speaking on behalf of all my brothers, we are just as horny. What's the definition of? It's it is an adult who is attracted to children. Yeah, uh, it comes from the Greek word uh, "pedo" means child and uh, "file" means love. So somebody who loves a child. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It, it, an adult who is attracted to a child. To a child, somebody who has not reached physical maturity. Yes. That's the definition and, and of then, child. Somebody who hasn't right. reached physical maturity. It has nothing to do with eighteen. The definition of the word talks about talks about physical maturity, not the U.S. government definition that you're basing it off of. 
but there needs to be an agreed upon place. Otherwise you get into this area. Again, you said when you can legally drive, you should be able to legally marry. Right. Uh, we don't have to talk about sex. Do you think it's okay to be marrying a 15 or 16 year old? Probably not. Right. Like I would imagine probably not. It depends. So this is where the, the age of the consent becomes arbitrary. I don't even believe like that consent is a, is a, is a weird thing to even speak about, but it should be, it should be the father. Right. If, if I want to marry a girl, I shouldn't even just get consent from her. I should get consent from her parents. She should want to say yes. Her parents should want to say yes. That's consent from the family. And then you get married. That's the Islamic way. That's the only way that makes sense. This American way of this girl wants to have sex now. She gave consent. And then you get all these false allegations like, oh, she was drunk. Oh, she took it back. Oh, she retracted consent. All this stuff. Like there, there's no even there's not even a specific way that we can define consent. What is consent? Some people say it's yes. Some people say it's like nonverbal communication. Some people say that it doesn't count because she was under the influence or she, she was intimidated. Even this is an arbitrary, is a, is a weird way to define when you're allowed to be in a relationship with somebody. You're kind of talking around it though. Those are all very different things. Like I said, we don't have to be talking about sex. I was talking about marriage. The question was, do you think, and you said, when you are legally able to drive, you should be able to legally marry. Do you think it is okay for an adult to legally marry a 15 or 16 year old? Okay, well, by, this, by my logic, if the man is physically mature, if he's went through puberty and he's, phys and he's mentally ready, at the age of 16, he's an adult. If he wants to get married to another girl who becomes no, a I'm woman. Saying, I'm, I just said an adult. Is it okay for an adult right. to and I marry? Well, we, we haven't even established exactly what an adult is. So if somebody goes through puberty and they're physically ready, they're biologically ready, they're an adult. So they can, the two 16 year olds can be considered adults by my logic. We're not, but we're not, we're not talking about two 16 year olds. What are you talking about? We're talking about an, an adult. That is an adult. You're arguing it. What, what I'm saying is that, a, so, so then what is an adult now? Okay. Let, we'll use your age. You, someone who is 25. Is it okay for someone who is in their 20s to marry a 15 or 16 year old? When you're, and let me explain, when you're doing your arguments, it's coming from an adult. I, I've never heard you say like, Two teenagers should be able to marry. Like I haven't heard that with these takes. I'm talking about someone in your position in the 20s. Is it okay for you to marry a 15 or 16 year old? But teenager, even even bringing up this term, that has nothing to do with child and adult. So there's, there's two phases. You're a child, and then you physically mature. I don't know why you can't just your body that become. Directly. I'm saying the difference between a child and adult is when you're physically and when you're you're biologically when you're mentally ready to have kids. That's the difference. The teenager is not even, so you added another term in this. It goes child and an adult. You mature and then you're, you're physically ready. Well, I didn't add it. You, you brought in two 16 year olds. We were talking about an adult and a 15 or 16 year old. I, I was not the one that brought this into the equation. Right. We, if it's illegal, so like, if it's illegal, because we believe in Islam, we believe that we should obey the law of the land. If that's illegal, okay. if that's, if that's not permissible, then, then we don't do it. We don't break the law. But we're not, I'm talking about your personal beliefs. Do you think you, do you think someone in their 20s should be able to marry a 15 or 16 year old? To someone in their 20s should be, I mean, I personally wouldn't do it. I, I don't know many people who would do it. The maturity for people in the teenagers in, in the West is, is getting much worse, but there are- We're talking globally. Let's just talk globally. Like, do you think it is okay for, and I'm not talking about just you specifically anymore, anyone. Do you think it's okay for anyone in their 20s, an adult, to marry a 15 or 16 year old? A 21 year old, if, if there was a, a marriage where the father consented and the daughter consented and it was both good on both families and they wanted to do it, why am I going to get involved? Why should we get the government involved? Well, why, why, involved why would I tell them if, already, if everybody's consenting, if everybody's okay with it, if the parents are okay with it, if nobody's being harmed, if it's going to be okay, if they're both abiding by, by the rules and they're not hurting each other, why not? Mr. Sneeko, it is a problem if someone in their 20s marries a 15, 16 year old. Why? Maybe that... 20 something year old is mature enough to a level they're still a child i believe even men until their mid 30s they're still a child and then you will start getting some wisdom and woman it starts at in their late 20s but that man is mature enough that man is not 15 years old anymore he's in his 20s he had a little bit enough like life experiences to know what's how to make the right decision knows the difference between right and wrong has had enough life experiences to tell these things that 15 16 year old is still doesn't have enough life experience that that person doesn't know what they want when i was 15 16 years old i was 
Every three days, I was a whole different person. My personality, my hobbies, my interests were changing day by day, every 24 hours. I'll give you in simple, simple terms. Let's say a tattoo. If you're 15, 16 years old, you're going to put a some dumb tattoo of some skeleton of some badass if you're a boy or if you're a girl you're gonna put some cringy unicorn and shit and let's guess what by the age of 18 19 20 or you get in your mid 20s you're going to regret that shit so hard because you were still a child and you didn't know what you were doing same thing that goes with a marriage you get with someone who's in their 20s why is it wrong because that 15 year old doesn't know what she wants Simple as that. Tomorrow, if the US government legalized bestiality, if the government legalized incest, based off your logic, there'd be no reason why that's wrong. Can I ask you, Moise, do you think that incest is wrong? Yes. Why is incest wrong? There is under no circumstances any excuse for anyone of the same bloodline to be romantic like that, by no, no means at all. Why? I really think it should be pretty obvious why. I don't know why, I'm, so I'm asking even. You. I, I know where you're going with this because I've heard this argument from another streamer before about like the ethics of incest. If they don't have a kid and thus don't pass down like bad genes that lead to a, mm -hmm. a bad child, I, I, I've heard this before. But so but I, I, I want to hear your answer because are we going with legal or, or, or are we going to follow some sort of morality, it, it is some sort of consistent morality? Why is it? Why is incest wrong? Incest is wrong because I believe that no family dynamic should ever include a sexual relation. Why? I don't think that because it is not healthy it is a bad thing to do it is a you're horrible going, thing to subject someone to but why is it horrible because who who told you that it's it's what i believe and also if you do have a child with your own kin the child suffers okay but say it's two brothers two gay brothers chris chris tyson and and other chris tyson and chris if they if they're two brothers and they decide to be in a no 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 genuine question it's what you believe in i want to figure out where your beliefs come from you personally believe but that my beliefs come from a place of what i believe to be moral where i don't believe that anyone in the same family has any position to be romantic with one another i don't think so that that's a your morality dynamic. comes from yourself my morality comes from, from like the world around me I don't have... Okay, so if the, if the morality like comes that. from the so, world around you, then by your logic, if you lived in America in the 1800s where the age of 10 was okay and where the age of 7 was okay in England just 200 years ago, if you followed the world around you, that would be okay. That was fine. And it's not now because we've evolved past them. Like right. we are significantly further along. To what Sneeko is basically trying to do over here is to see if Charlie's decisions are made by him or by the government. What does he believe in? Does he believe just because the government says so? Or is it something that he believes? His morals, basically. Now, Mr. Sneeko, I'll tell you exactly why shaklaka boom booing with your own brother or sister is extremely bad, disgusting, and wrong. It's very unhealthy. And logically, since like just... The sense it's human nature that it's disgusting. And if you're still wondering why is it disgusting, let me put it again in simple terms. Go in the bathroom right now, take a big fat juicy shit, take it out and start eating that shit. Start biting it like it's a fucking juicy ass $3 shawarma. Bite that shit. How does it feel? How does it look like? It's disgusting. Exactly. It's human nature when brother and sister... Look at... Picture your sibling right now. I'm sorry for doing this, but picture your sibling right now. Picture doing, you know, sexual things. Disgusting. Exactly. It is human nature. Now, the reason there's a law of age of consent is because a, a line needs to be drawn. 200 years ago, the age of consent was like 10, 12. That was a different time, different mindset. As we evolve, we come now, it's 2024. This is wrong. And when it comes to your morals and what the government is making the law, yes, your morals mean everything. I have my own decisions. I believe in certain things and it, it is always going to be there. If Sneeko said Kamala Harris, the new president, for example, she comes and she puts the age of consent at 25, my, in my head, it's going to be still 18. I can uh, like go and hook up with someone who's like 19, 20 years old and it's completely normal. Why? Because it's my belief, it's my morals, it's the way I see things. Now, if I picture myself right now, 25 years old and hooking up with a 15 year old, it's disgusting. It's just like going, taking my own shit and start eating my own shit. Human nature feeling disgusting. I went on this already. Does it change? Your scenario earlier was if a 16 and a 21 year old if it, both parties were consent, if the father was okay with it, the mother was okay with it, why not? 
What? Me, t- give me a reason why that's. Give me. Tell me a reason why that's wrong. Because you're, you're one getting is a child. One is not a child. But that's the point. So the 14 year old. All of those criteria you, we just checked. You're the, in your 20s. The definition that we just agreed upon. That's not true. Child is somebody that is not physically mature yet. It has nothing to do that with is 18. That's not what we agreed upon. We agreed upon 18. You, you agreed. Most of the no, no, we didn't agree with that. Treated 18. Most of, that's not true. That's not true across the whole oh, world. Like, sensible people. Sensible, even, even your own community has agreed upon 18 for the most part. So I've seen a lot of the tweets when you go on these tangents. Most people say it should be 18, and Sneeko's arguing that uh, parts of the world are different, so it gets money. But the agreed upon for the majority of people is 18. That's not true. So under That's just not true across the world. So do you see when you argue against that, why it looks so weird? Do you okay. understand that? Yeah, I understand because uh, because people have been brainwashed with this. Okay, let me ask you this. People oh, in yeah, Europe... Brainwashing okay. is concerning. Okay. Is there, are people... So the majority of Europe is 16. Is everybody in Europe who abides by that, who abides by the law, are they... Uh, yeah, in my eyes, 100%. And okay. in European society too. Fine. If you have someone in their 20s that is and marrying a 16 year old they too are excommunicated no no not excommunicated are they pedi- are, are they pedophiles? yeah uh, i would say yes they're pedophiles okay so, so the majority of people that follow the law in europe are pedophiles according to moist critical if yes they are it's, it's their, a yes or no if they are an adult being an under 18 year old even if it's 16 legally i would say yes okay yes okay in america the majority of the states it's 16 are those people who follow the law of the land are they for following the so the majority I keep saying the, the, law of the land. it's that's what it is the majority it's of not. states it's 16 so if you, you i want you to right now sneeko if you go to any of those states where it's 16 and you 16 year old it's statutory it is still statutory it doesn't apply now one thing i like to point out about this one specific clip is sneeko has been trying so hard to say that you know it's my morals everyone should be believe in their beliefs and their morals and you know if you believe this is right this is right for you if you believe this is wrong this is wrong for you do not let the government put things in your head and right over here when charlie says that okay even if it's illegal 16 years old in europe and in some part of, of the u.s i still believe that it is a pdophile activity if someone in their 20s come with this 16 year old, even though it's legal, and Sneeko is like, oh, Moist Critical said, even if it's legal, this person is a PDFL. Well, guess what, Sneeko? Charlie's trying to say that he believes in his morals and he believes that the age of consent that is 18, it's his belief, and he believes that is a line that needs to be there in society, which is 18 years old. And he believes that anything under it, even if it's legal, it's not good. It's the morals it's his beliefs so you just lost in your own argument and based off your standards when is the romeo and juliet how long can that extend that should, those are teenagers a 17 and a 19 year old those are both teenagers okay now they're that teenagers not, but you just said 18 was an adult uh, um, yes they are you see are you see how the definitions teens. keep they're changing the same, they're you, in they the keep same changing ballpark. over so far in this conversation you changed it so many times you said 18's an adult. No, no, you said, uh, but listen, because you did. I heard you do- yeah, double up a couple I times. I know you're going to harp on here. No, yes, no, you did. You, did said, you said 18's an adult, and then you said adults like you, because you think 25's an adult now, because that's when you're. Why, so why is it, let me ask you this. 18 why is, is an adult. Why is it not, 20, why is it not 25? It's because that's, that's, that's not what was established. Like, no, no, I'm asking you, because you, you believe in personal beliefs. I believe in, in some. I, I, my morality comes from the Quran. You believe in personal beliefs. Why is it not 25? 25 is when the frontal cortex is fully developed. That's when you're done maturing. I couldn't tell you why it's not 25. I okay. have no clue. I don't know why the drinking age is 21. I don't know. But they are agreed upon rules. They're agreed upon rules. Just are- like just like the drinking age, just like the voting age, they're, they're agreed upon rules. And a lot of them don't make any sense. Why is drinking 21? But, 18, but I do think 18 does. There is a good reason for it. You are out of high school. You are going to live on your own. You're going to college. I think that is a good reason. Yeah, maybe in, think- maybe in the 1980s, but nowadays people don't leave the house until 24, 25, until they're my age. A lot of people don't. People are not financially ready. People are still immature. There's 18-year-olds I know that are more mature than people my age, and there's 25-year-olds that are more immature than 18-year-olds. It's arbitrary yeah, now. It I, depends on personal experience. It depends on individual maturity. Said- but there needs to be something to find in your rule here. And I'm saying there is find. something to find. It, I'm saying there a is. A 14-year-old, in your definition, could literally marry an adult. That's a problem. In your world, a 14-year-old can marry an adult. Yeah, in my, in my world, the 14, two 14-year-olds could be adults. I'm telling you, the what only... The fuck? The why only why that's weird? Two 14-year-olds, you don't think that two 14-year-olds could be married? 
No, absolutely not. No? No. Uh, under no circumstances do I think two 14-year-olds can marry. T can two 16-year-olds let, let, let alone a 14 and a 20-year-old or whatever. Okay, can two, si can two 16 year olds be married? No, I don't think why, two 16-year-olds Why, why is it married. wrong if... Uh, so a 16-year-old, because the age of consent is across the world, so many places 16, if they can do how, go out frivolous sex with a lot of people, if they can go if they could do deviant things, if they could change their gender, why can they not get married? Once again, Sneeko, if two 14 year olds and two 16 year olds marry each other, they're still children. They don't know what they want. They will change their mind two days from when they get married. If they have a child, they don't even know how to take care of a child. Even though if they're physically mature to have that child and care for that, child there's still a lot of things they need to experience in life before they start thinking about marriage and the minimum age which is the you know socially accepted and it's the logical thing it is 18 yes once you're 18 you're legally to get married but i still say from my experience it is still too young being 18 years old and majority of people i know they get married in their late 20s and even if that 15 year old girl is physically mature enough and their fathers can send them getting married well guess what we can't do anything about it but it is disgusting and it is extremely illegal if they if a 20 something year old man tries to come and marry this man same way if a adult cat comes and tries to marry a Megatron. Megatron in human years, she's 15, 16 years old. That adult cat is going to be eating my slippers. Sex change, like Chris from Mr. Beast, these people could take hormone you blockers. Harp on listen, that so much. listen focus, you're, you're, not, you're not listening. This is, this is the point. You could take hormone blockers, you could take puberty blockers, okay, when you're a child. When you're 16, you can go change your gender, but you can't get married? Why is that? What, uh, that, that's, I, I don't know. I feel like that's a pretty obvious question. No, it's not. There are it's not. See, if you take, if you cut your penis off, like Chris and Mr. Beast, if you cut your penis off, that is a life altering decision. You can't, you can't glue it back on. You can get divorced if you get married. This is a commitment that you're taking. A child, based off the liberal point of view that you believe in, they can have gender surgery. They can change forever. If somebody can have, okay, do you believe that somebody can go through uh, hormone therapy? Can they change their gender if they're a child? I think that's totally fine as long as everyone is consenting. As you agree with. <laughs> okay, so as long as everyone, if your parents are okay with it, and you are okay with it, I am. I think that's totally a familiar decision to make. Yeah. Okay. Now I was watching this whole debate live yesterday, and this was the few seconds that got me out of my chair, and I could not believe what I was hearing. This could have been such an easy debate for charlie first of all he couldn't find the right words he got lost with finding good words between an adult teenager 17 18 19 year old he wasn't finding the right words but what he said doesn't make any sense because again if you're under the age of 18 you cannot make your own decisions you are going to be changing every single day you're still going to be changing the second you turn 18 but it's not going to be as much that is why you're allowed to uh, drive you are allowed to be responsible you're a responsible person for yourself same goes on with these lgtb barbecue pills or uh cutting it off you're still a child you don't know what you want I watched fucking Batman when I was 14 years old and I, for a whole month I was Batman. I was making the voice, I was, I was thinking like I'm Bruce Wayne standing in the dark where my, like my friends are chilling in the playground area in school and I was standing in the shadows and I was saying, justice. So obviously it's going to have an effect on 13, 14 year olds watching these LGTB barbecue YouTubers for example, people like Chris online, they're going to, fuck my nose is blocked again. They're going to take inspiration and they might want to, maybe a small portion of them want to follow their footsteps. And I believe that is a time where it shouldn't be allowed even if the parent consented. Because let's face it, some parents are weak. The kid is going to come and like, let me cut my dick off. I am no longer this person. And the parents are going to be like, no, how dare you talk like this? Go to your room and that kid is going to threaten to unalive themselves and the parents are going to cave and uh, guess what that person cut their off and that person is going to grow up and regret their decisions and is going to blame the parents for it so it should be a legal thing it should be a government thing that it is illegal to do this even if the uh, parents consented so a child can cut their off and take hormone blockers and change their biology forever but they can't get married so that's a decision that now extends beyond the family because now you're bringing in a different party. So if you have someone that's your age coming in saying, I want to marry that child, 
I, yep, I don't think that can happen under any circumstance. So, you, no. but it's still a personal decision. You're still deciding. It's, it's, it's but still, no, no, but it's, no, because there's take a, the other party out of the equation. It's a personal it's decision. Not. If I'm or if I'm 16 and I personally want to marry this girl, she's beautiful. She's 21 years old. Her family wants to do it. My family wants to do it. You're saying I can't do that. We're both consenting. I'm ready to go. I'm physically mature, but I'm not allowed to marry because Moy says that's that woman's a. But if then. The next day I leave it, I'm depressed. I want to cut my piss off. I can go right into the clinic, snip it off, and start taking HRT like Chris Tyson. That's a society that makes sense to you? It is. I believe yeah, okay. everyone has complete, yep, I believe everyone has the right to do with their body what they want to do. Okay, but with it, so everyone has the right to do with their body, with the, but not when it comes to a sacred marriage. Now, I'll be honest with you. One thing that's going around my head is, is Charlie saying these things because he's afraid of cancel culture and he's afraid to lose a platform, or this is actually his beliefs. He's saying a third person is involved in this situation. No, Charlie, a third person is not involved in this situation. It is still a personal choice. Just like it is your choice to marry someone underage, it is your choice to cut it off. If you're underage in no circumstance, you're allowed to make these kind of decisions and your parents are not. It should be illegal for the parents to even make decisions for you because let's face it, not everyone's a great parent. So 100%, you cannot cut it off if you're underage and you cannot get married underage. Both are wrong in this situation. Get to that point, 18, then ma start making your life decisions because you have a responsibility on your own. You're on your own now. You can make choices. Even though, like I said, when you turn 18, you're still a child mentally. 18, 19, 20, in your 20s, you're still a child. Doesn't matter. No, people do not mature early. Yes, sometimes you might experience life in an early age. You might things. You might learn a few uh, things, one or two things, more than a person your age, but it is still... You still don't have that wisdom of when you're like in your mid-30s. Literally, every year you're growing and you're becoming a better person. Picture yourself five years ago. You're going to say, oh my God, what the fuck was I doing? Cringe, whatever it is. Now, if you're around my age or you're older, think of yourself when you were 14, 15 years old. What kind of life decisions were you making? 100% stupid shit. Yes, I started working when I was 14 years old. I was a summer camp coach and I became a sales representative at the age of 15. For the people who are close, you know, on the stream, I talk about these things. Sometimes you know my story, but still, even though I was having jobs and I was going to school, I was still a child and I couldn't make decisions on my own. And I'm very thankful that it, I no one allowed me to do anything because if they allowed me to do stupid shit back in the day, God fucking knows what I would have done. Now back to Charlie, like I said, I don't know if he's saying these things, just he's afraid of getting the platform or the backlash if he actually says that no gender under 18, because this doesn't sound like Charlie. I'll be completely honest with you. Someone under the 18, Charlie, they are not allowed. It, no, just because I say, oh, it's my body. Yes, in that case, Nico is going to win this argument because it is also their body if they want to have sex if they're under age 18 or if they want to get married under 18 as well. And I'll be completely honest with you. Majority of the commentary channels, YouTubers that I see, social media, especially like big people, Charlie amongst them, they kind of go the safe way of what everyone agrees with with now at the beginning a lot of people have been saying that about charlie now i'm slowly a little bit like leaning into it but not like fully but from seeing commentary people they go with whatever the crowd agrees with they don't usually say what's on their mind i'm saying you know most of the time not always but but this whole thing can be charlie this is actually what he believes in even though it doesn't make sense to me or you watching but one thing these commentary channels need to realize, if you're sharing your thoughts on the internet, even if you're the most perfect person ever, you know, you're the most lovable, good looking, best personality, wholesome, whatever it is, there are still going to be people hating on you. You share your thoughts on the internet, there is going to be either a small portion or majority of people disagreeing with you and disliking the video and hating on you. You're always going to have haters. Literally, watch this. Literally, watch this. I'm going to say three words and see how many dislikes I get for it. Farts, penis, titties. That's like three, four dislikes already coming in my channel because I said these three words. There are going to be people hating on you either way. So for the majority of people, I'm not going to name names, but they know, they probably know who they are. If you want to go with the crowd, it is, you're always going to get hate 
either way. So might as well just share your actual thoughts about anything. Deal with the backlash later, whatever it is. I probably, people think I'm transphobic. People think, oh, you make fun of LGT barbecue. It's not that. I called, uh, what's it called? Chris, Mr. Ava in like my videos. Even though majority of the video was likes, but I still got dislikes and comments. Oh my God, how dare you? Why are people like this? You transphobic person. Why can't you just say Mrs. Ava or date them and shit like that. A lot of people think I'm, you know, what's it called, transphobic, but I'm actually not. I've said this a million times that I have no problem with the LGBTQ barbecue. I still can. I swear I can't say it. That's why I say barbecue. Uh, but I have no problem with them. I see perfectly well at night. You can be gay. You can do whatever you want to scissor. You see, like I refer to these things like this. Some people might get offended by it, but I say scissor, go sword fight with each other, whatever you want to do. But do not bring it on the internet and share it with the kids. This is when I have a problem with it. But if you're gay, you do it on your own, whatever. You create content non-gay related, fine. But when you come and be like, kids, you don't know if you're gay. Go suck, go suck some dick. That is where I come in and I have an issue with it. And anything I say, I'm, I know I'm going to get hate for it because people are going to be disagreeing with me. But hey. I'm going to say what I'm going to say. Marriage, children should only be within a marriage. They should only be conceived within a marriage where they're not going around sleeping with different people, where they're not confused, where they're not a part of the community that has the highest suicide rate. They should not be a part of that. I want to be in a society full of happy married people that are ready to have children, that are God-fearing. those happy married people are sometimes in your world 14, 15, 16 years old. Absolutely. If they are ready, so if they are though, ready to get married to, that? but see, you're so hung up on the fact that it could be an older person. Okay. If a 16 year old is, is, is fine. What if a 16 year old Moise meets another 16 year old in a place. We've already gone over that. Okay. If 16, in, a, in a place where the age of consent is 16, which is what there's most of the country, right? Let's go. Let's go off that. There's no Romeo and Juliet laws. Two 16 year olds meet. They want to, f can they do that? In a place where the age of consent is 16, if it's two 16-year-olds, yeah, absolutely. Can they get but married? that's never what we've been talking about. Can they get married? If it's legal for them to marry at 16, sure, they can. No, it's not. That's In fine. America, you have to be 18 to get married. Then then wait. Then they should wait. Okay, yeah. so, so they're both files? What the fuck? No. That, that, there's no adult in that situation. They're both the same age. The point that, see, this is where it goes back. The point I'm making is that you cannot follow the law. You cannot rely upon the government on these arbitrary numbers. The reason you believe in 18 is because you live in America right now where the age is 18. If you live in- you do too, though. No, like, I don't. You just said it. You wouldn't- so you don't believe it's at 18. So you're going to go fuck a 15 This is not my This is not my personal preference, Moise. That has nothing to do with my personal preference. Well, answer that question. You just said you don't. Are you going to go fuck a 15-year-old in a place where this, you can't? That is not my... I don't want to... I don't want to have... Just say yes or no. Just no, say yes or no. I do not have sex okay. out of wedlock. I've repeated this before. My you point is... You've had plenty of sex out of wedlock. When you were sexually active, would you have gone to a 15-year-old? Absolutely not. Okay, so then you two also still abide by Because it. we believe in abiding the laws of, we don't break the law, but you're applying the law of the land to morality. And that's where things get confused because morality is not defined based off the government. If we follow well, morality, listen, if we follow morality defined based off the government, then we would say that the war that's happening in Israel and Palestine is justified because the government is sending billions of dollars there. You cannot rely on the government upon that because the government can be flawed. Morality does not come from these people Absolutely. that are elected. Morality comes from God. God. That's the only place that it can come from. Because if you, if you were around, if you follow your logic, if you were around people, all of them that thought what incest was okay, that thought bestiality was okay, you would follow it because you follow the people that are around. That's the only reason you believe 18. Because that's, that's what you see in Hollywood movies. Because that's what the government told you as an adult. Not because it's something a personal it is thing. the agreed upon age. There's, it's, there's just, but you keep saying that. It's not even agreed. Up, it's, that's, fun, that's, not e never go down. that's not true. Well, you, it's not it even, shouldn't go down. It's not even agreed upon. And nowhere in it is. It is. First of all, Stiko say that he doesn't have sexual intercourse outside of a marriage has to be the funniest thing I've heard yesterday. But we're not gonna judge him. Maybe he's a changed person. We don't know. Let's not judge him in this situation. And the second thing is just because he's speaking like Pierce Morgan, he's very confident. Doesn't mean he's cooking, okay? What Charlie said, if two 16-year-olds are, you know, uh, they love each other they're together, they can't get married, wait it out, sure. And then Seiko comes in, oh, but are they pet? No, Stiko, because there's no adult in this conversation. And when Charlie said that, he changed it all up confident as if he wasn't wrong in the first place. Again, I'll put it as simple as possible. Adult, underage, 
No, no. You're both 16 years old or one is 16, one is 17. One has to wait a year until that person is legal to is 18 and they can marry each other. Now, if that person, for example, that they're in love and they've been together since they were like 14, if that person turns 18 and, you know, the girl or the boy is still 17 years old, it's still fine because it falls under the Romeo and Juliet phase where you're both still in high school and you're still not out in the world experiencing it, even though one has their whole life changed illegally. Now, I know what you're thinking. This is where it gets complicated. This is why you should have your own beliefs in this situation on what is disgusting and what is not disgusting, what is normal and what is not normal. What the government and, you know, the society came forward and, you know, put on the line is what everyone agreed on. I agree with the age of consent being 18 years old, but in this Romeo and Juliet situation, it is Fine. If you're 18 and you're with someone who's 17, no one's going to be calling you discussing. You just have to wait a year until you get married. If you want to get married, just if not, just wait a year and boom, boom you're both legal. Go live your lives. Go get your own place. Go be an adult and, you know, experience life. And keep in mind, you're still a child in the head, but you're going to be experiencing life day by day. And once you get into your 30s, that's when, the, you know, that's where the wisdom starts, basically. But if someone goes up at anyone like 25 years old or Dr. Disrespect who is 42 years old where he was at the time of the incident that happened where he was 35 years old. Now they talk about Dr. Disrespect but I want to share this point from now on. Even if the girl was 17 years old and that state let's say the age of consent was 16 years old it is still disgusting before a 35 year old man to be with a 17 year old that is when it falls under the pdf file section and if that girl was 19 20 it would still be disgusting but it would be legal because that girl can make her own decisions because it's past the line that we all put even though she's still a child now i know some of you might be confused because they're throwing words consent age young old who's an adult who is a child puberty this and that I get confused sometimes with like all this shit happening left and right. There's so many miscommunication between these two that it actually gets annoying. Charlie can't find the right words to use and then Sneeko thinks, oh, he meant something, but he actually meant something else. But then he meant something else and he's like, you keep changing your words. And Charlie just comes up and says, okay. Most people, if you, if you right now, have you had for the 16 year old as an adult Sneeko? No, I have not. Okay, if you did, how do you think people would respond to it? Even in your own community, if you said that you had sex with a 16 year old. They would be completely disgusted. Exactly, because most people agree at a certain level needs to be established, and that level is 18. So <laughs> under no circumstances should a okay. 14, 15, 16 year old be getting sure. married and having sex with an adult. Okay, the, the, let's go to the doctor disrespect situation because there, there was a lot of hypocrisy, right? Uh, he would message a 17 year old. If you, that's it, not true. There, show me the evidence of him messaging. I, I haven't seen any evidence. See, all the streamers exactly. within every, all the streamers within your community, they were so quick to admonish Doctor Disrespect without seeing any evidence at all. Sneeko, we don't need to see any evidence because Doctor Disrespect came and he told them by himself that he spoke inappropriately with a minor. Do, do you need proof after this statement? We saw Chris Tyson and then they waited three days like you to post a video. Did it within, I did it within like six hours. Uh, no, you didn't. If you, I did. Okay, if you decided... What are you talking about? The full video came out less than 24 hours after the initial break of all of the information, and I had that first video go well, out. How, how long did it take for the Dr. Disrespect video to come out? Over 24 hours. Did it? How long did it take for yep. you to tweet? And, and in the first how video, long did it I take for you to tweet? times though? how there's no concrete evidence of who he was talking to. How long did it take like, for you to tweet? Uh, I waited till his second response, so that was three days later. It was three days later? You didn't tweet right away? Nope. Okay, then, then you were the outlier and most streamers, all of them, they waited. They didn't say anything. They wanted the Mr. Beast collab, but that's besides the point. Most critical, if you DM'd a girl that was 17 years old, 364 days, should everybody be disgusted with you? I think that would be pretty disgusting, yeah. I don't okay. think you should be communicating with someone under 18, no matter what. Okay, if you want to... It's, it's not... Sh it, is that disgusting? Yeah, I think it's disgusting. You wait a day. Like Cody, it, Co okay. Cody Co having sex with, uh, with Hannah when she's 17, I think that's disgusting. Okay, it, it, say... Say she's 17 years old, 364 days. He waits one more day. Is he still disgusting? I, I still think in that position, yeah. I, I think that's still a huge but power I, dynamic issue that you're it? getting into with that one. But wait, 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 wait. That, that's disgusting. But I, I thought you said 18 was an adult. Well, yeah, it is. It is. Like, it is? you're not going to jail. But okay, so, so, so now it's disgusting for two adults to have sex? It, it's disgusting for someone to be using this kind of position in the example you're giving. That's a power okay, dynamic okay, but, issue. But so, so Cody Co waits one more day. Then they have sex. 
and he's still disgusting, but it's two adults. Why is, it, why is that disgusting? People are still, like, I would be upset hearing that. Cody Ko was in a different position than Tana at the time, and he was also in a much different place. And even if he waited till 18, while it's not illegal, it still wouldn't be a good thing. It's not something to celebrate. Now, Stick over here says, if Cody would have waited one more day, it wouldn't have been disgusting. Well, no, it wouldn't have been disgusting. Why? Now, why can't everyone just wait until this person is 18 years old? Now, Stick over pulled a good move over here. Charlie, probably if he would have had like a... 20 10 second window to think about it and come up with the answer he would have given a proper answer i believe but he said that it's still disgusting for someone like cody 25 years old if we would have waited for you know one more date for her to be 18 i would say it is not disgusting but if someone like dr disrespect 30 something 40 something year old comes and waits for a person to, until even though they're 17 years old and like 30 364 days and next day they're 18 it is still disgusting because of the age gap 18 and 40 something is not a, a good thing but i want to counter strike sneeko in this situation why can't everyone just wait one more day until that person is 18 then none of this shit would happen in the first place. This is the line that you do not cross. 18 years old. Be patient. Think with your head. Don't think with your mini head. And you will be fine. You won't get cancelled. None of this shit will happen. Even though it will be disgusting for someone, like I said, Dr. Disrespect, talking to someone who is like still 18 years old. But not only the age gap, because Dr. Disrespect was married with a kid and blah, blah, blah. It's still very disgusting. The age gap. 18 is the law. It is the line that the society has put in for us. Just like the law is you cannot pass a red light because if you pass a red light disaster can happen but if you wait one more second or one more minute you get the reference i'm trying to make one more day until she turns 18 you wait one the light's gonna turn green and everything's going to be okay going forward because that is what the society accepts that is how things are and there is no problem with it waiting one more day so if they would have kept it in their past and they should keep it in their past for one more day, I think things will be absolutely fine. Not celebrate, but you think it's disgusting. You think it's reprehensible. I, I think it would be a bad thing for sure. Yeah, I don't think it would be a good thing. Is he a pedophile? I, no, he would not be a pedophile. Okay. And I also... Okay, he's not, he's not a pedophile. The day before, 17, 364 days, is he a pedophile? No, I, I think yes. Yes? Yeah. Let's just, use, we're going to use a great okay. bond definition. That's, if you don't yes. wait till 18, if you don't wait till 18... You will, uh, we'll just do a file. There you go. People so, so, like to so argue so a beef file or whatever it's called, but well, let's just say if you someone under 18, you are, you are, you're a pedophile. Yeah. So this is just like the word misogynistic. I get called a misogynistic all the time, right? I was just in France recently and there was a girl literally massaging my head. She's 27 years old. She's massaging my hair standing on the street and a soy boy comes up to me with earrings. He says, I hate you. You're a misogynist. He says, I hate you. And he doesn't know. And I ask him like, what does misogynist mean? He doesn't know. Right, the same reason that your, your definition of pedophile does not even follow the actual definition of the word is the same thing when people throw around the term misogynist and they don't know what it means. That's what happens when you get to throw As around- I just said, I know it's not the definition of the word, but we're just using terms so we can all be on the same okay, page. Okay, but words have meanings for a reason. You can't just make up a definition of a word. Now, I know you think Stiko is cooking, but what is the meaning of a PDF file? It is the meaning is cupcake lovers. This is where the miscommunications happen between these two, and a, a lot of people just con got confused in this situation. Under 18, we refer to them as children because they're not the legal age, the line that we agreed on, and we t spoke about it multiple times. Now, after 18, they're still mentally a child, okay. Now, under 18, if any adult speaks to anyone under 18, they are called a PDF file, but. If someone goes above the age of 18, that term goes away. We know the meaning of it, but just that term goes away because that person crosses that line even though they're mentally a child, but they can make their own decisions and they're responsible now. So keep in mind two different things. Anyone under 18, they're a child, referred to as a child and they're not legal to make decisions. And someone who's above the age, they're mentally... Um, legal but they are old enough to make their decisions and if someone like 25 or you know 26 27 anyone wants to speak to them it is fine they do not the the 20 something year old is not going to fall under the 
PDF section. To put it in simpler terms, one day you're innocent, the next day you can do something illegal and you can catch a felony. Then you can become a criminal, basically. So same section falls under the PDF file section, basically. Now, this is just halfway through the video. You can literally find the two hour session anywhere you want. I'm actually tired from filming this whole thing, but they're going to go in a loop of talking about the same thing. The next thing is just asking the same questions, but I think we covered most of the things we want to talk about. Agree with me, disagree with me. This is where I stand with my thoughts. I believe no uh, uh, dick cutting, flying cucumbas in the air, no marriage under consent or an adult marrying someone under the age. None of that shit. Everything, you make your own decisions once you're 18. You want to sell your ass once you're 18, go sell your ass on the street. It completely becomes your life and your decision on whatever you want to do because that is a line, again, we all agreed on. Do whatever you want with it. Overall, this whole conversation was just full of misunderstanding and it just, I believe it went terrible. Both were wrong in this situation and it was just a hard watch, but it was like hard watch but interesting at the same time so i i basically just watched the whole thing anyways just wanted to talk about this whole situation this was really an interesting one let me know your thoughts in the comments below like the video if you enjoy it if you enjoy these yapping sessions subscribe it and uh yeah take care of yourself i will see you the next one